Hey, this is Sue Oyuela, and if you're a timeshare owner and you want to rent your timeshare to make it pay for itself, then watch this quick video to discover the questions you need to ask to know for a fact if you own a rental-friendly timeshare. Is your timeshare rental-friendly? Well, the answer is simple. If you can change the name on your existing reservation into the name of a guest, then congratulations! You do own a rental-friendly timeshare. But I just want you to be aware that if the timeshare doesn't allow you to transfer a reservation into the name of a guest at all, then I'm sorry to say that that is going to be a deal breaker because you simply won't be able to rent your timeshare to a guest without having to physically be there in person to check in at the resort every time. And I've seen it a couple of times with the smaller timeshare networks where they require that the owner be the one to check in then renting only works if you live nearby, say within 45 minutes of your timeshare resort. But what I've found over the years is that as long as the timeshare allows you to transfer a reservation into the name of a guest, there are always ways to find a profitable path through their rules. And if you have a coupon or a bonus week that you received as a gift or an incentive, check to see if it's transferable. That's the magic word that allows you to rent it in case you're unable to use it yourself, of course. Otherwise, it'll just go to waste because these special gifts tend to have expiration dates. So pay attention to that. And then, once you've determined that you do own a rental-friendly timeshare, the next question you need to ask is, what is the timeshare's cancellation policy? And what you need to find out is, how close to the date of check-in can you cancel or change a reservation and still get your time, money, and points back? And now, the reason why this is so important is because when it comes to renting a timeshare, the main risk that you need to mitigate is the possibility that you don't get a booking. So ideally, the timeshare's cancellation policy would be flexible, meaning that you can cancel up until the day of check-in and still get your time, money, and points back without penalty. And be aware that cancellation policies differ for each timeshare network and even for each individual program that they offer. The key for timeshare owners to be able to rent their timeshare safely is that the timeshare offers some sort of grace period after making the reservation so that if you decide to cancel, then you can get those points or time back and then use them again later for new reservations. No harm, no foul. So that's the best case scenario. However, some timeshares may have a use it or lose it policy where they don't allow owners to make any changes at all to a reservation, or they just give you a very small window of time, like 24 hours from the time you make the reservation to cancel or change it. But don't worry, that's not necessarily a deal breaker. So what you need to ask next is, do they offer some kind of cancellation protection insurance? If so, then that's something we can work with, even if they charge a small fee and you're back in business. But hopefully your timeshare will be on the more flexible end of the spectrum when it comes to their cancellation policy, which will make renting it much more profitable. All right, let's review. Now you know the questions to ask to determine if you own a rental-friendly timeshare. One, can you change the name on my reservation into the name of a guest? Two, what is the cancellation policy timeline? And three, do they offer cancellation protection insurance so I can get my time, points, or money back if I should need to cancel a reservation? And if so, how much is it? And does it extend up to the day of check-in? And once you've determined that you do own a rental-friendly timeshare, then I want you to use this link. Go to www.timesharerentalstrategies.com forward slash timeshare rental training to register for my free class to learn how to rent your timeshare safely and profitably. This is the essential free training that every timeshare owner needs to take before they attempt to rent their timeshare on the internet. This is Sue Oyuela wishing you all the best and timeshare rental success. Bye for now.